Hello, my love. How are you? You slept well. You were very tired yesterday. The worries of marriage have exhausted you a lot. Hello, sweetheart. I am very well and slept well. Really, I was very exhausted yesterday. The products you gave me yesterday are very effective. This helped me a lot. And you, darling, how are you? You slept well? Yes, my darling. I slept very well. Especially since yesterday, I am no longer among the singles. I'm married to the most gorgeous woman on earth. Thanks, baby. You two are the most wonderful man on earth. And I'm very happy. I love you very much, Lisa. I love you too, my heart. Honey, how did you like our wedding reception? Honey, how did you like our wedding reception? I really liked it. Everything went well. The organization was impeccable. Really everything was in place. There was a friend of mine who sent me a message to appreciate the reception. Do my loyal big brother is an organizational expert. My dear, you can't ask me this question. You yourself already know my answer. It was exceptional, wonderful. Everyone did their job well. Your big brother organized things well. Although he didn't stay during the reception. But everything was done well. I give all the glory to God. My colleagues sent me messages to congratulate me on the reception. Honey, you must be hungry. I'm going to the kitchen. We will continue the rest after eating. Okay, my love. I'm coming with you. Hello, Fidel. How are you doing? Good morning, Mark. I'm doing very well. I give all the glory to God. And how are you doing? I hope everything is going well with you. Yes, everything is fine. I give all the glory to God. What do I owe the honor of your visit this morning? I was about to go out. If you had come a little later, you wouldn't see me. Fidel, please. I came to ask you for forgiveness for all the bad advice I gave you during the difficult times you were going through and I also apologize for the bad things I said about your wife. I'm sorry. Forgive me. Forgive me. I beg you. I almost destroyed your life. Really. I thank the Lord that you did not listen to me. I am really sorry. Forgive me. I let myself be used by the devil. My brother Mark, I have forgiven you with all my heart. I have nothing against you. The same day you came to talk nonsense to me, I forgave you. I forgive you with all my heart. Thank you very much Fidel. God bless you. Congratulations too. For your wife's delivery. I give glory to God for what he has done for you. Thank you so much. We give all the praise to God. Mark, I think I'm going to leave. I have an urgent appointment and I'm already late. We'll see you later. Many wishes to your wife and children. Bye. Okay Fidel. I will not miss it. Many wishes to your wife and children. Bye. Mom, what a surprise. Welcome mom. I'm very happy to see you. You surprised me. You didn't even wave before you arrived. Should I notify you before coming to my son's house? My son's house is my home. I come whenever I want. And I leave whenever I want. I don't have to warn or ask permission from anyone. Mom, you too? Okay. Got it. How is dad and my brothers and sisters? Everyone is well. He greets you all. What a lovely surprise, stepmother. Lisa, you're sure it's a nice surprise. Thank you Lisa my daughter. Are you doing well? I know you are not at all happy to see me here tonight, but there is nothing you can do. No, mother-in-law, I didn't say anything. Be welcome, whether you like it. Yes or no. This won't stop me from being at my son's house. I have nothing to do with your yes or no. Okay, I think I'm hungry. Go find me something to eat. Since I arrived, you haven't even given me water to drink. You didn't even present me anything to eat. We will see. I'll straighten you up. Lisa, I thought that when I arrived, I was going to see you with a big belly. What are you waiting for? It's been eight months already. In our family, already six months into marriage, we become pregnant. What are you waiting for? 
mother-in-law. Don't worry, I will give you beautiful children. You better act quickly, otherwise you will see your effects in front of the gate. Oh, mother-in-law, I'm going to the kitchen to make you something to eat. See you later. See you later. Lisa, what is this? A meal without taste and without any odor. This is what you are preparing for my son. This is what my son eats. Lisa, you poisoning my son. That's intoxication. Look how my son turned out. It is not possible. You, a beautiful woman like that, don't even know how to cook. Tell me what you can do. That's the irony, I'll have seen it all. Shit, oh God, help my son. Mother-in-law, I know how to cook. Look at this one. Anything. From today onwards, I'll be the one to cook food until I leave. I've made my decision. Anything. My darling, you arrived today earlier than usual. Everything is fine. There is a problem. No, my darling, there is no problem. I just came from a meeting and we finished earlier than expected. I'm tired. I didn't go to the office anymore. I came straight home. Okay, I understand. I am very happy to see you by my side. Honey, I saw Lisa at the supermarket yesterday. But she didn't see me. She is not well. It's not Lisa I know. She lost weight. She is pale and unrecognizable. Oh well, what's going on? She hasn't even been married for a year yet and she's like that. May God help her. We will carry her in our prayers. I really felt sorry for her. I'm sure there's something wrong. I understand my darling. We will pray for her. My dove, I am hungry. I'm going to go make you something to eat. You give me 15 minutes at most. I'm going to surprise you. Okay darling, I'm coming with you. No, no, you're waiting for me. See you later. Okay, see you soon. What are you doing in the kitchen, Hilaire? Don't tell me you cook. Yes, Mom, as you see, I cook. I'm going to make something to eat. I'm a great cook. What does it mean? Not in front of me, no matter what. Where is your wife? What is her role in this house? What is it used for in this house? What did she get married for? Get out of this kitchen, otherwise you will have to deal with me. Mom, you too. It's my wife. I can help him. She is a human being like me. Let me do. I'll finish in a few minutes. I tell you to get out. Do you want me to cause a scandal in the house? Okay, I understand. And you, young woman. What is your problem? Why did you come to this house? Why did you marry my son? You want to make him your jack of all trades. It won't happen like that. Anything. If you see that you are incapable of keeping a household, pick up your things and disappear this minute. You are incapable of even giving birth. You're just a hardened barren girl. You're just a scoundrel. Anything. The day I see my son in the kitchen again making dinner, you'll see what I'm doing. Lazy, woman. You are bad. Mother-in-law, what have I done to you? You do not like me. You are never satisfied with anything I do. You don't want to see me go near my husband anymore. It's what? What is your problem? Do you want to know what my problem is? Take your things and get out of this house. Anything. Lord, come to my aid. Do not abandon me. Lord, come to my aid. Do not abandon me. What did I do to deserve all this? What have I done to endure everything I'm going through? Father, it's stronger than me. I cannot stand it anymore. I cannot stand it anymore. Help me God. Have pity on me and come to my aid. My darling, what a lovely surprise. You didn't tell me you'd come see me at the office. Where do you come from? There's a problem. Something happened. Honey, I came to see you about our home. It really doesn't work. Since your mom arrived, We've barely been together. We don't talk anymore. All we can say to each other is hello and good evening. We no longer have time for communication or intimacy. You see how your mom treats me, but you don't say anything. You don't react. 
You don't even defend me. My dear, it's not a joy for me to see you like this, but I'm sorry, I can't do anything for you. What do you want me to do? That I send my mom away? That I hit her because of you? It's impossible. I can't do this. Let's pray that she returns where she came from. Oh well, Hilaire, that's all you're telling me. Okay, I understand. I am leaving. Courage to you, Lisa. Mom will be leaving soon. Okay, I'm leaving. I'm going back to work. See you later. Lisa, I'm leaving today. Someone just called me that my husband is in bad shape. Know that I will come back. Be careful if I come back and you're not pregnant. Make sure you leave calmly before I ask you the question. When you hear that I'm coming, if you're not pregnant, pick up your bags and get out of the house before I come. I hope you understood me correctly. Yes, mother-in-law. Goodbye, barren woman. Lord, what am I going to do? I'm done. I cannot sleep anymore. I can't eat anymore. What did I do to experience all these difficulties? Lord, give me grace. Give me a child. What did I do to go through all this torture? My daughter, what is happening? For some time now, you have no longer shown any joy. You are wasting away. You are losing weight. Mom, I can't take it anymore. I am experiencing inner deal, torture in my home. My mother-in-law makes my life very hard. She came to spend a long time at home. She left but as she left, she told me that if she comes back and I'm not pregnant, I'll see my luggage outside. The whole time she was there, she did nothing but insult and mistreat me. I no longer spoke with my husband. The house was unlivable. When I prepare, she says the meal is tasteless and odorless. What does it mean? Why didn't you come and tell me this sooner? You haven't even been married for two years yet and she's bothering you like this. Anything. She will hear from me. What does Hilaire say in all this? He said he can't do anything. To pray that his mother goes back where she came from. Look at me, a weak man, an irresponsible man, a mama's boy. Mom, I can't take it anymore. I am tired. I don't know what I did to deserve to go through all this suffering. Lisa. Lisa. Yes, Dad. You say you don't know what you did to deserve all this. You forgot what you did to Lynette for 12 years. You have forgotten how you and your mother made life bitter for your big brother's wife. You once beat her, you yelled at her several times outside the house. You have done things to him so much that I refrain from saying. I advised you several times, but you refused to listen to me. If it were not for the grace of God, your brother's home will be broken. You see how sweet that is. You see how it is very soft and very good. Dad, sorry I didn't know. Dad, it hurts a lot. It's horrible. You didn't know what? You didn't know you were hurting her and she was in pain. God is against wickedness. God is against anyone who humiliates, offends, and harms his neighbor. You lavished mortifications, which could lead him to become angry with God, to rise up against God. You were creating problems between her and God. Instead of showing love, supporting her, and praying for her as a child of God, you were destroying her. God forgive you. Today there are many people who have problems because of certain things they have done. Let us be very careful about the life we lead and the actions we take. Dad, I'm sorry. What am I going to do now? Go ask God for forgiveness and you go see your big brother and his wife to ask them for forgiveness too. Thanks Dad, I'll do it. Dad, I'm going to leave. Thanks for everything Dad. It's a pleasure for me, my daughter. You will say hello to your husband. I won't miss it, Dad. You saw what I told you. Parents must lead an exemplary life, a good life in order to leave good legacies for their children. Let's do nothing to make our children suffer later. Anyone who loves their children must carefully control their steps and actions. I will ask God for forgiveness and pray for her. Honey, I apologize for not listening to your advice. Forgive me, I beg you. I have forgiven you with all my heart. You need to review your life and your heart. I understand, darling. Thank you very much. God bless you.
Hello, big brother. How are you, Lynette, and the children? Hello, Lisa. We're all well. We give all the glory to God. And you, how are you doing? And your husband? Big brother, I am fine and so is my husband. I give all the glory to God. Lisa, you asked to see me and my wife. What gives us the honor of your visit very early this morning? Big brother, if I asked to see you this morning, it was to ask for forgiveness. I admit that I have sinned against God and against you. I recognize all the harm I have put you through, all the suffering I have made you endure. I really ask your forgiveness. Forgive me, I'm sorry. Sorry, forgive me. Lisa, me and my wife have since forgiven you. We forgive you again. We have nothing against you. What you did is very wrong. You have hurt us a lot, but we forgive you with all our hearts. Thank you, very much big brother. God bless you. God bless you. Lisa, sincerely we forgive you with all our hearts as your big brother said. I'm not going to lie to you. You made us suffer a lot. You truly broke my heart. This led me to ask God a lot of questions. I forgive you with all my heart. I have absolutely nothing against you. Thank you very much, really thank you very much. God bless you. My dear, I am very happy. I too am going to become a dad. I told my mom about this yesterday on the phone. She was very happy. God is truly great. She told me to tell you that she gives you lots of kisses. She promised to call you personally. Honey, you don't know how happy I am. I give all the glory to God. God has answered our prayers. Truly, God is good. Brothers and sisters, that's it all for this video. If you like this video, feel free to like it, comment and share around you so that many souls be saved and restored. And don't forget to subscribe to the Vivia channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. God bless you.